Hello there, Margarita here, mindset mentor and light worker from Pitbull. I'm on a mission to help to liberate you from the stories and belief systems that are stopping you from the being the best that you can be and living life on your terms. So today I'm going to do an EFT tapping session for you around our judgments and perceptions about money. A lot of the time I talk about abundance, today we're specifically going to talk about money. So what stops a lot of people from having the money that they want in their life because money is limitless. But we have this, these belief systems of lack, these stories of lack or not deserving or fear-based stuff around money. And a lot of it comes down to many of the judgments that we have around money. And these judgments have come from our environment, mostly from the ages of zero to seven. They've come from the authorities in our lives and we've just, whether they've been said or actually not even stated, just demonstrated, we've picked up these judgments about money. For example, a while ago, actually a few years ago now, I was in my bank and I was talking to one of the tellers there and she has a little five, six year old um, girl and she, we were talking about, I can't even remember exactly what we were talking about because it was a while ago, but she was saying how her daughter was playing with money in the back of the car one day and she said, oh, don't do that, darling, money's dirty. Now, she's a banker. She knows that the paper money that we have passes through many, many, many hands. And yes, it's probably got a lot of germs on it. It gets chucked around, dropped, you know, taken in toilets. Who knows who's handled that money and what germs are on the actual currency that you're handling. But here's what happens when you tell a child, particularly between the ages of zero and seven, right up to 12 and 15, but most impressionable from zero to seven, money's dirty. This doesn't just relate to the fact that they're handling the money and that the physical thing that they've got in their hands is dirty. It's just the physical thing that they've got in their hands is dirty. They then have this judgment about money that money is dirty. So you don't want to handle money. You don't want money. Money's dirty. This is what happens in the subconscious mind. And unfortunately, this then stops the person from actually having money in their life because they have a judgment about it. And we are layered and layered and layered with judgments about money. What about the one money is the root of all evil? Now, that's actually not what the statement was. The statement was originally the love of money is the root of all evil. And if you know people who really love money, and it, it's just all about greed and more and more and more and more money, then yeah, that can actually fuel some pretty evil behavior. We do see it in particularly um, amongst some of the highly, highly, highly elite members of our community. Not all rich people are like that, but there are some sectors who are. So um, the, the, but the statement, money is the root of all evil, if you're conditioned with that, why are you going to have money? Or, you know, it's wrong to have money, or it's greedy. If you want more money, it's greedy. So there's all these judgments that we have about money, and if you have these, then you're just going to continue to repel money. So what I want you to do, I'm going to do a generic tapping with you today, but what I want you to do is think really carefully over several days about your judgments about money. Many of them are probably unconscious, so you may not even know what they are, but as soon as you start asking the question, what are my judgments about money? What are my perceptions about money? What characteristics have I given to money? Because money has no characteristics, it has no traits, it's just money, it's just money. So. When you get really specific about your particular judgments about money, then you're gonna have much more success with this tapping. But I'm gonna show you how to do this with a generic tapping for now. So I want you to think of money in general. And how do you feel when you think of money? Do you feel heavy? Do you feel that having money is wrong? On a scale of zero to 10, how intense is that feeling? Zero being that it doesn't resonate with you at all, that the heavy feeling about money. 
10 being that, you know what, it's really, really heavy and you feel really uh, contracted when you think about money because you've got all these judgments about money. Okay, let's get started with the tapping. If you're not familiar with emotional freedom technique or EFT tapping, then go to my website, pitbullmindset.com, join the community. I will teach you this very easy, very, very powerful process. But if you're familiar with it or you just want to tap along, then follow along with me and repeat the words that I say. Even though I have all these judgments about money, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all these judgments and perceptions about money, that tell me that having money is wrong and greedy, I choose to love and accept who I am and how I feel right now. Even though I think about money and I think it's wrong to have money, I think it's wrong to want more money. I choose to love and accept who I am and how I feel. Even with all these judgments and perceptions about money. Okay, tapping through the point, starting with the inside of the eye. Greedy to want more money. Money turns people into monsters. Money makes people selfish and mean. Wanting more money is just greedy. Money is dirty. Money is the root of all evil. Money is hard to come by. You have to work really, really hard to have money. Wanting more money is selfish and greedy. Money turns people into not very nice people. Money doesn't grow on trees. There's not enough money in the world for everyone. And if I have more, somebody else has to have less. If I have more money, somebody else suffers. There's not enough money to go around. Money's hard to come by. You have to be mean and selfish if you want more money. Money turns people into monsters. Money makes people thoughtless and unkind. Wanting more money is greedy and selfish. Money is just evil and dirty. Wanting more money is greedy. And money turns people into monsters. Money doesn't grow on trees. What if all this is a load of BS? What if I believe in these lies all my life and they're not true? What 
What if money isn't any of these things? Money's just money after all. It's either paper or coins. Digits on a screen. I choose to know money is not any of that awful stuff. And it's not money that affects people. Money is just money. If I had more money, I'd be more generous and kind. And I will do good things in the world when I have more money. Having more money means that I can do great things for life's people. Money is just an exchange of energy. Money doesn't have any influence to turn me into a different person. And I know there's plenty of money out there for everybody. More money is created in our financial system every day. There is plenty to go around. And money can facilitate great things in the world. With more money, I could help those people who have less. and fund good social enterprise. And give money to people and charities that are helping others. Money is an enormous power for good in the world. When the right people have it. I choose to know that money is just money. And drop all those bad perceptions and judgments that are just stories. So I can do more good things in the world with more money. Okay, deep breath. And let it out. All the old energy. Gone, 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 gone. And again, breathe in. Releasing all those old stories and judgments and perceptions that are just belief systems and we got it all wrong. Awesome. So now I want you to again think about money and your judgments and perceptions around money. How heavy do those judgments and perceptions feel? Have they come down, right down to the bottom around a zero? So keep working on this. As I said, think about your judgments and perceptions around money and um, think about the opposite. Think about how you could reframe it so it's actually the opposite and it's a positive thought about money instead of a negative thought about money. If you've enjoyed this tapping and you'd like more tapping sequences on having more abundance and money in your life, then I've got a very special event for you and it's totally free. It's the 21 days of tapping into abundance masterclass. All you need to do is click the link below this video and you can go and register your details and become a part of the challenge. People are having extraordinary results doing this 21 days of tapping and the next series is coming up very, very soon. So don't delay, go and join now and tap your way into more money and more abundance so you really can be the best that you can be and live life on your terms. I look forward to seeing you in the masterclass. Take care and have an exceptional day.